Hello everyone, this is Prashant. Welcome to our uh, 5th day in the channel. So, uh, today we are going to see about the authorization techniques in a, using a auth token 2 and using a bearer token. Okay. So, basically, why we need an authorization? Uh, you know, think like that. If you have a YouTube, okay. So, uh, if I am creating a YouTube videos and uploading in my account, okay. If I am freely allowed everyone, what will happen? Anyone can come to my account, they can delete and they can update or any, they can do any manipulations. So, how to restrict? So that's why the YouTube is giving the like login only I can log into my account I can do the modification so this kind of authorization techniques is we implemented in a rest okay so today we are going to see one of the topic as yes, bearer token so basically what is bearer token is so one kind of a string as a keyword we uh, we need to use whenever we calling any APIs okay when you seeing this diagram so you are the client okay so you are sitting in it when you are going to access the your cloud like server so in between we need some some one person to authenticate like you are have a right to access this to account if you don't have access now they won't allow you to the account so so for this we are going to use the uh, like bearer token this is basically it's kind of auth token too okay in the interview they will ask you what kind of authorization techniques you are using in a project so we are using auth token too okay so next jump on to the topic so basically we are going to use this is the website uh, previously we used uh, in the sessions uh, the other apis but that is not that much reliable so we are going to use this uh, url so i will give you this url in the description you can get and get and moreover what is our tester's job when i getting new requirements we need to study on the documentations so when when you studying about this document so these are the first informations so whenever you are using this any apis from this website never give your original phone number or mail id or any personal details okay next thing is parameterize like we need to use this parameters so i will teach in another classes how to pass the params okay and third is very important if you're using this apis for put post patch delete we need to have the authorization header previously we have studied two headers what are the headers one is accept next one is content type from today we are going to study another header called authorization in this authorization we need to pass the bear keyword with the token okay so first of all you can ask me question where i can get token so if you see in this website this is the below link get your access token this is the link we need to use to generate a own token for yourself so when you clicking on this app it will open this app okay so when you first time it will ask you to log in either using your github account or any gmail account it will ask you to log in once you log in you will get this is a token for myself when you guys are logging in so you will get one token okay this token only you need to use in your project like your in postman as well as automation okay right now we are go we are going to do one like one post request in the uh, in our uh, in this live okay so first of all what to do we need to create a one new request how to create a new request click on the new button it will open the get request here i'm going to use authorization like it's a name authorization call then i'm selecting the folder course i'm giving a save okay basically today i'm going to use the one post record like i'm going to create a new account okay so where i will get the url if you see here this is the base url okay i'm copying this url okay i'm giving this url next here if you see for the post request they are telling like we need to use this one okay so already we have public v2 user so public version 2 user so then we need to change the post so i'm i'm removing the extra spaces okay this is the thing okay and so if i see here when i click on here these are the basic informations what are the informations needed for one one new account we need to pass the ide name email address gender and status okay so that only i'm going to use when you click on this link now it will show you what are the information needed so i'm copying this informations see here i'm copying this information and i'm going to the body and in the body i'm selecting a raw and selecting a json and i'm pasting it okay so i'm missing one curly braces in the front okay this is done and we as i said in a earlier we need to pass what thing we need to pass the authorization header so i'm copying the authorization from here so key is what authorization and in this we need to type bearer and what is a space 
next thing is what i need to copy the my key i'm copying this key and giving it in here see this first is bearer keyword and the token which is generated specifically for you okay you need to create a this token as the to login okay so i have a content as well as this one okay when i run here see this what is the error is coming so you need to study always study this thing okay so this is 402 unapproachable like not processable what is the reason already had a already uh, has already this email has already have a token so what i need to do i need to change this email id because this email id is the new one okay so see this right now we got successful we got a new id and we created everything okay i think we don't want to pass the id only this four information is enough name email generator so i'm going to give the another name like prashant and mail id is test at gmail.com so test one two three four five i'm giving some numbers and mail active the status is active when i send this request see this the new id is generator and it has a name and given email id and mail and activity so then what is the success code two not two not one two not one is what to create so something is created in the database that's why two not one is coming okay i'm coming to the next uh, i'm going to teach you another thing plus i'm clicking on a plus and clicking a get request for the get request so what they telling for the get request we need to pass this url okay same url see here same url i'm passing and we need to pass the id which id we need to so basically right now we created one account this is the account so i'm going to pass that id in this url okay so previously i posted one new account right now i'm going to see the account okay so message resource not found because we created a dummy account so obviously this won't available in the thing but right now you can learn it what is 404 404 status codes comes when the respective account it's not find it in the authorization okay when i'm giving this same authorization authorization uh, what uh, is this guy says i'm copying this entire part and i'm giving this authorization see this when i give as authorization this time i get this document why previously anyone is coming at again don't give because this account i created in my account in my access token so let's like in my own account so when i call this ide from my account only i can use think like that if in my youtube channel i can only able to upload right you can't able to upload so that is the thing so i'm i'm giving this access so it will check the access this the person who's coming here he have access or not if he have access to permission like permission to come to me i can give the data if anyone unknown person is comes means i can give what this is not found or you are not my my user like that it will come okay so right now we learned this in a manual right now with the same task we are going to do an automation some post or same post call so i'm opening a python um i'm creating a new file right click new python file this is auth post method like i'm giving this name so i'm doing like as usual first thing what import the request type next thing is we need to create a header so header so i'm going to create a header so what are things we need to copy then first thing is content type so today you guys learned what is content type because when we're giving a json means body means we need to pass the json as a content okay and next thing is comma next one is what authorization i'm copying the authorization next thing is copy the bearer keyword plus the token header is ready next one is what we need we need a body body equal to so i'm copying this request body completely and what is the important thing change the email id, email ID because it will throw in a failure right 
because just now we study okay right now we have a what body as well as we have a head next one is what we have, i'm going to create a one request storing a response in this variable like request dot post request in the post request first thing is i need to pass the url so i'm copying the url today what we do we can do now we can store okay url equal to so i'm going to give this url okay next thing is i need to pass the header header what is the header head so our variable is head next one is json in the json we need to pass the body okay so what are the three things we passed in this we passed the url header and json body okay so what's the next thing i we need to print so print the response dot json next thing we need a status so we directly assert it assert response dot status code should come like 201 okay so this is the condition so what are the things we done first thing is we imported the request library next we have created a header for us and next thing is we done a body like, like payload and we storing the url and i'm passing the url header json in the post request and storing in the response variable from this response i'm taking the response body and response status code and i'm doing the validation okay right click run the authentication see this it's created the cool and it got passed because it is 201 actually that's one okay so this is how we need to do the authorization so right now see this um, i want to use a get request in the same so get response um, i want to create another re call request dot get request so the same for request we need only one thing uh, only two things one is the url next is header we need why we need the need because that has the authorization right next i in the plus in this url i want to give the what i need to give the key the id so id from the res previous response response in the response dot json in the json i need to get what id okay so so what will happen url plus we need to have another one like what this is the very important one you guys want to learn slash because basically we need a slash right because in the in the in the request what is coming after the users slash then only i need to give the id so what will happen this will take the id from the previous request then pass that okay and i'm going to print the same get request get response dot json okay so this is kind of validation we always do like we need, first we need to post and how to verify all the information is went to correctly it means we need to use a get request to get the data is stored properly or not okay see this some error is coming uh, ah see this the email is already taken we study now uh, because i didn't change the email id this time uh, cool right so this is how you want to learn never afraid of okay okay next thing is he is telling see this i am expecting a string not integer because this int is what the id is kind of what integer so but this url is a what string so what i need to do i need to put str in the str bracket i need to pass this so what the str will do str the string convert the string to the integer to string okay that's why we are type casting okay uh, same issue email id already taken okay every time you need to change the email id okay see this successful so both request despite okay so do more uh, never afraid of what is the error coming on the screen or anything don't worry uh, read it as a tester we need to study understand debug debugging is what like checking the where the error has occurred how can i 
deep work and make it as correct okay this kind of stuff so thanks for joining in if you like the video please like and uh, subscribe to your friends okay and thanks for joining in have a nice weekend